Hi all, welcome back to Odoo Sustain Development Tutorial video. Let us discuss about basic views in Odoo Sustain. Basically views are what define how record should be displayed to end users. These are specified in XML. In our XML code, we can see the different views are listed here. Each views are represent a mode of visualization. So here we can see the tree view, the NST1 followed by form view, and the calendar view, and the graph view. So these are the views are basically in Odoo. When we check in our custom module, we can see here a tree view or list view. When we open the record, we can see our form view. Followed by that, here we can see the calendar view and the graph view. So let us check detail in our XML code. So here is my Python code. Some of the fields are added here in the XML code. Here we can see the tree view. So first of all, we are passing a ID here. ID is the unique name we are giving to this record. So the next one is the name. So this is the tip dot trick dot tree. This is the name in the model ir dot ui dot view we are giving. And this is the model name we are passing here. So when we check in the UI in the settings under the technical section. Under user interface, we can see the views field. So, this is the model ir.ui.view. From this model, we can search our view. Here, we can see the view name. So, in the XML code, we are passing the name here. This is the view type we can see. This is the model we are passing here in the XML code. This is the external ID. This is our module name and this is the ID we are passing in the XML code. So here we can see the ID is passing here. So like this we can see our all views from the model ir.ui.view. From here we can see our tree view. Under the tree we can add our fields here. In the python code we are adding some fields here so in the xml we are passing those fields here the next one is the form view like that we can see our name is given is tip.trick.form and the model name is passing here and the unique id is passing here so we can check from the model So we can see our form view and the model and the ID we are passing in the XML code. Under the form, inside the form view, we define fields to view in form view. These are the fields we are passing inside the form. On the top or the header we are passing a button and next one we are grouping the fields uh, so we can check it in our UI go to our custom module and inside the form view we can see a button inside the header we are passing here and under the sheet we are passing the form view so these three fields are in a group and the active field in another group so we can check here. So the next view is the calendar view. The name is tip dot trick dot and calendar and the ID we are passing here and the model also passing here. So we can check it in our UI and the setup. Under the user interface, there is a view. In this model, we can search our view.
from here we can search our calendar view so here we can see our calendar view is passing here here we can see the which type of view is mentioned and the id we are passing here we can see under the calendar we are passing a field here and a string called task and the which mode we are viewing in default view in the calendar we can see so when we go to ui inside the our custom module go to calendar so here we can see differently month is coming so we can change from here day week year etc so the next view is our <coughs> so the next view is our graph view as usual we are passing id name model here from the name we can search in the model ir.ui.view so here we can see our graph view is mentioned and the uh, uh, id we are passing and the model and the view name we can see so under the graph we are passing the string and the field which are represented in the graph view we can see and which type of graph is viewing that bar line by etc definitely we are passing a bar bar chart so when we check in our custom module in the graph view the bar chart we are passing definitely coming so there is line chart and by chart so we can add like this type from our xml code also we are passing a two field here name and the number that fields are viewing here we can see the count of that two fields like this we can define basic views from our module based on each records